GTX 3050 is the newest car to join Nvidia's lineup and is branded as the new 1080p king. But is it really? Today we're going to test the role performance of the RTX 3050 and Warzone. For this test, we'll be running competitive settings at 1080p and 1440p and to make things realistic, we'll do DLSS settings as well. And as always, I'll break down everything and discuss the performance of each segment at the later part of the video. And if you like what we do here at Novice PC, please support our totally independent testings by hitting that like button and subscribing. Anyway, let's get on with the videos, let's go! Hello again, Dumbbell! For 1080p, the RTX 3050 is already maxed out, FPS is around 100, meanwhile 7.5GB of our VRAM is being utilized. Frame types are somewhat stable between 10 to 11 milliseconds with GPU power at around 110 watts. With DLS is balanced, it seems to be faster with frame rates now reaching up to 120 and frame times are stable at 8 milliseconds, which is our goal number. Now despite being faster, I really struggled with visibility in the setting. This was probably because we have a much lower source resolution being upscaled. There were times where I actually did not see the enemy, especially in the areas with shadows and deep vegetation. Oh, and one more thing. I don't know why Warzone is eating up all our RAM. It continues to get worse from this point as we scale up to 1440p. Now, this card is not designed for 1440p gaming, but we tried it here anyways and we set DLSS settings to balanced. Surprisingly, the performance was eh, not so good. FPS was just between 70 to 80 and I struggled with our gunplay here because it was just too slow for competitive play. Dropping down to DLSS settings to ultra performance makes the game run more or less the same as raw 1080p with frame rates at around 90 to 100 but like 1080p DLSS this suffers from very poor image quality and affects our ability to see enemies. Overall, my recommendation for this card is just to stick with raw 1080p. DLSS definitely bumps your FPS but because we have to tone down its settings just to get decent frame rates it was at the cost of visibility. At these settings DLSS just makes everything softer with a much more lower source resolution it just makes things worse for competitive play. Anyway that's it for the video guys if you like to see streaming performance of the RTX 3050 please click this video right here and I'll see you guys on the next one.